Hi, in this video we're going to be showing you a couple uh, Windows tweaking and debloating apps that you could use on your Windows 11 computer. So just keep in mind these are both for Windows 11 only. They say not to try and run them on Windows 10. And also you probably want to do some kind of backup or, you know, create a restore point or something in case something goes wrong because you never know what's going to happen. So these are both executables that you could download, nothing to install. You just download it and run them. Uh, the first one is called This is Win 11. So we did a video on how this thing works but they're coming out with a replacement for it called Bloaty Nosy. So eventually that's going to replace this one here. So if you download This Is Win 11, it'll, have, it'll come with both executables, so you can run both. But if you download Bloaty Nosy, you'll just have this. So I'll put a link to download both of them so you can check them both out. So uh, This Is Win 11, you know, the basic features. You can just kind of go through and do a little tour if you want and click on things as you get there. It's kind of a step-by-step -step thing if you want to do it that way. Or you can go to the Customize section here, run a check, and then it'll give you some suggestions of what it wants you to do, remove stuff or add stuff. Then you could just click on Fix once you pick your selections there. And then you could also uh, restore it if you don't you know, like what it did, but you should still do a backup just in case something doesn't restore correctly. Then there's the App section where you could go through and uh, remove certain apps that you might not need. And if you click on Show System Maps, it'll show even more. But there's probably stuff there you shouldn't be messing with necessarily unless you really know what you're doing. So you could just kind of pick them from there. And then you could also restore them as well. Then they have recommended packages for all kinds of different categories. You could just check the ones you want. And we'll go out and install them. Just like that. In the Automate section, uh, this is kind of cool. You can have different categories here. If you want to run some scripts to do certain things, you know, for apps, privacy, edge, storage, and energy. I think this is just another uh, create your own tweaks with extensions type of thing you could check out. So that's pretty much how this works. And if you go to uh, Bloaty Nosy, you could do the same thing where you run through a kind of a wizard and then when you get to a section, you could uh, take you know take action on that category, and then you could also jump to that section down here, different menus. And so on. Now if we go back home, there's an analyze button here. So 28 features that it thinks uh, you, that they don't like and should be fixed. Click for details. Then you can kind of do the uh, check boxes like you do on the other app. And then up here, you could fix the problems that you check, or you could restore the defaults, just like the other app. And then you have more apps down here, InstaPackage, where it's going to install packages like you saw on the other side there. Bloat Finder or stuff that it thinks you should remove. Then you have the show system apps again down here. And WinModder, which looks like some advanced feature for modifying Windows. But there's nothing there by default, at least not right now. So you can see this one's, I think, a little more simplified than the other one, um, but it kind of does the same thing for the most part. So you could try them both out, run them both, and see which one you like. So like I said, I'll put a link in there to download them both. Just run, run the executables and uh, start tweaking. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.